So yesterday I did a video where I was talking about using this solar array that I got. It's an EG4 solar array ground mount I got from Signature Solar and these 100 um, watt mono solar panels that produce 5.57 amps. And it's like, uh, I think around 22 volts um, to use for like on your motorhome, your camper, boat, whatever. You can use one of these to put on your boat or camper or whatever to trickle charge during the day and keep your battery full while you're not using it. Um, I'm trying to use eight of these to run my mini split, which uses like maybe 500 to 1100 watts. So once it reaches temperature, it'll actually drop down to around four or 500 watts. But during the day while it's running and it's hot in your air conditioning or in the winter when it's cold and you're heating, um, it would be able to run that. And then uh, I find that I could run the mini split that I'm trying to run a 12,000 BTU mini split with um, the uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries that I don't have to be running it all the time. I can actually shut it down lower or, you know, move the thermostat up so it's not running anymore so I can charge my batteries. So I want to be able to use this portable array to be able to um, take with me camping and I can take it apart and it would all fit in the motorhome storage area. And it takes me about um, 10 minutes to put the actual ground mount solar array together, another 15, 20 minutes by myself to uh, put these uh, solar panels on. And right now I have these wired up in series. So there's eight 100 watt panels in series going to an EG4 charge controller inverter um, that I'll be mounting in the motorhome. So we actually have this in series to that one, 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 to that one. So it just goes like that. And I wanted to get into a little bit more about these individual solar panels. They're, they're normally like close to $90 and they've got them for like $49.99, I think right now. And uh, they come packaged like this. And I bought 12 of them and I had no problems with them. They're securely packaged. And if you go over and look, they actually give you, if you use these individually to keep a battery charge, um, a PWM charge controller and it comes in this bubble pack and they've got it screwed together in the thing now the nice thing this is a uh, waterproof and see if i can undo this uh, let me see if the wire's kind of stiff see if i can get that to loosen up a little bit okay so we have this Grape Solar, uh, it's a 10 amp PWM waterproof solar charge controller. And it comes with your battery connections here. Um, you connect to your battery and it has negative and positive. So it lets you know which one's which. And it already comes with the MC4 connectors, which are shows pos or positive and minus on those. So that was included in the box along with uh, this right here, that it's a three-stage charge. Uh, it's for 12 volt batteries only. And since I'm not gonna use these, I'm gonna be using the EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverter don't have to worry about that, but they do come with it. So if you wanted to hook one of these up on your boat or motorhome or camper, and um, they give you extra cable length on there. And uh, like I said, the C MC4 connectors are included in that. Gives you the instructions, tells you how to connect it. 
um, indication, the LED indication chart on this, uh, gives you a little dimensions on that. And then on the back of this, it gives you the specifications that it's, um, the max solar input is 30 volts. And I think these are like 22 volt uh, input and max solar input current is 10 amps, 150 watts for the solar input. You can use these for AGM, gel or flooded. It's only for 12 volt batteries. So it'll equalize charge at 14.6 volts. And it'll equalize that for one hour. Uh, boost charge will be 14.4 volts. And that'll do that for two hours. Boost charge recovery is 13.2 volts. Float charge voltage is 13.8. Over discharge voltage is 11.1. .1. Over discharge recovery is 12.6. And it has a no load loss of 8 milliamps. And operating temperatures is 31 degrees to 140 degrees. So those instructions come with that as well. And like I said, these are packaged really well. This is the back of the box, and it is glued on there. I had I already um, pulled this apart so I can show you, and they've got it glued really well. So they also have this piece of cardboard in here. And when you open it up, uh, they have these corner cardboard pieces on here that help protect it. And I've opened up nine of these so far and they came to me on a pallet. There was perfectly with no damage. So, and on the back of these, oops. On the back of them, you can see there's the, um, charge controller and they also give you the solar panel um, instructions on here and the quick disc, quick connect guide reference and then here they show you how to connect uh, in series um, they give you all your instructions on this so that you can do this. You can do it in series or parallel. And um, so you can use these. Um, I, it shows a PWM charge controller for two of these in parallel connection. And then they give you the different types of ways you can connect that together. But it's a nice brand new solid panel and uh, you get a pretty generous length on there, probably th maybe 36 inches on the uh, MC4 wire on that solar panel. We'll go take a look over here for the ones that are connected. So like right here, you can see up there, it's a, it's a good 36 inches, if not more on that. And at 50 bucks a piece, it's a pretty good deal for a 100 watt, 5.5 amp. Um, I haven't seen anything, most of the stuff is two to three times that price. So like I said, I got 12 of these and I'm trying to get away with using eight of them to charge uh, two lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, for a battery bank that are EG4 batteries, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. So just wanted to go a little more in detail about those. Yesterday I had them up and running and it is winter, it's January 4th. And uh, I was able to get around 800 watts out of these with the uh, sun being low in the sky, just barely over that roof line right there. So it's pretty low. So, you know, in the summertime, it's like right overhead, much better solar production in the summertime than it is in the winter. But I was able to get that thing and keep it running and keeping the battery charged. Um, so I think I should be able to get away with just these eight solar panels. The other thing is, is with these eight solar panels, they have such a small footprint. So you get like a, over 11 amps between two of these panels. And the... Uh, 
if I were to put that on my roof, that would definitely go from, from like uh, one side to the other side easily. Um, and I could actually, if I f wanted to mount these on there, I could probably go um, 12 or 14 panels and put it up above where all my other stuff is and build it up. And you want an airflow behind there anyways. You don't want to mount these straight to your ceiling. You, you need to have airflow underneath those solar panels to keep them cooler, to make them more efficient. But I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, these solar panels themselves. And I'll put a link, the links um, in the description of where you can get these and everything. So hope you enjoy the video. Hope you have a truly wonderful and blessed new year in 2024. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.